Happy Saturday and welcome back to Discovery Time. Today, we're going to see about some different things that happen with fire and air. So if you are following along at home, it's very important that you have adult supervision for this. And you will need a candle, two trays, one that is shallow and can hold some water, obviously some matches, a glass container that fits over the candle, some water, and I went ahead and added food coloring to my water to just, just to make the effect a little bit more visible for you. And the water should sit in the bottom of the shallow tray. All right. So, start by lighting your candle. Once your candle is lit, I'm just gonna douse the match in my water there so it's safe to go. You're gonna take your empty glass container, make sure it's dry inside, and lower it over your candle. What you'll notice is your candle starts to go out almost right away. That's because the candle quickly uses up all the oxygen inside the air, inside this glass container and has no fuel to burn. Fire needs oxygen to burn. Now we're going to light our candle again. and carefully move it over to the container with the water so that it sits in the water. Then take that same empty glass container and put it over so that the water, and you'll notice that what happens is the water rises in the container. that happens. So here's the answer. The water, the candle heats up the air in the container and hot air rises, creating a vacuum effect that sucks up the water. Also, did you notice that the candle stayed lit longer? Why is that, do you think? Hmm, I'll leave it to you to find out. 